I'm really passionate about getting back into demonstrating on TV as well and actually sharing uh, techniques with you, products with you that I personally love. I hope you can tune into my shows here live at Touch On. Join us this Christmas. Where you will discover, be inspired, and get involved. Merry Christmas. From your home of crafts, hobbies, and all. Chanda will be supporting Stamparama, an incredible art, stamp and paper craft show and we would like to invite you to come along and meet us on Sunday the 16th of February. Set in the Stevenage Arts and Leisure Centre, Stamparama brings together the UK's most dedicated and gifted craft experts, all available to inspire you with their knowledge and expertise. Advanced ticket holders receive early show entry from 9.30am, allowing you extra time to browse before the show opens at 10am. There will be free demonstrations, make and takes, and also a refreshment area where you can take the weight off your feet after all that shopping. Tickets are available from Hochanda in advance for only £2.50 each. So, what are you waiting for? Treat yourself to a fantastic crafty day out. Order your tickets today from Hochanda.com. Yes, indeed. Good evening. Good evening, all. It is 8 o'clock, which means it's another chance to look at your one-day special. Now, I'm going to get it out of the way, because I know we say this a lot in Shopping Telly, but the first hour is extremely busy. We've already sold out of the Mega Bundle, and we're now a quarter of the stock of the one-day special has already gone in the first hour. It will be dispatched from the 6th of January, as will everything on the show, so I'm not going to keep going over it. Um, 6th of January, it will all be dispatched from. But the main man is here. He's had a lovely <laughs> holiday. You can tell by his lovely glowing <laughs> tan. He's um, had a week to calm down now, so... I'm very jealous of the tan. No, not at all. Uh, how are you doing? Are you all right? Really good, yes. Really relaxed. Had a lovely Christmas. That's had a nice. lovely holiday. Um, yeah, really chilled out, which is, I think, what everybody needs at this time of year, really, isn't it? Is it? Before it all kicks yeah, off again. Yeah, before it starts again. And, my, and here we go. And <laughs> here we go again. An amazing launch of the set. And what a one-day special you're bringing us for a price of £29.97. Yeah, we, we try to, what we try and do with John Next Door and Crafts 2, we work really hard to make sure we get the quantities right, we get the design right, but we get the price right as well. And I think really that is really important. I, you know, I say this a lot, and you don't want it to become one of those lines, but I'm a crafter. Yeah. I got into this by being a crafter, not by being a designer or an artist or anything. I got into this whole industry by being a crafter, um, and I've developed with that. But I don't think that ever basic crafter thing goes from you. I still get excited when I come in. I still look round at all the other sets. I mean, I was doing it about two minutes ago. <laughs> and, well, that looks quite... You can't help it, but as a crafter, you want value for yeah. myself so I want it for other people as well so we try and do that and the other thing and the reason we've done this one day special is we launched the media plates last year and we, we, we did the butterfly and the dragonfly and everyone at the time said oh is there not a die to cut out the butterfly and I said no because it'd be expensive and then I thought right we've had long enough now um, I want people to take them back out and reuse them so let's do some stamps oh and let's do a die so we did the whole collection, so you've got the butterfly and the dragonfly dies, which will yeah. cut out. So you've got the butterfly and the dragonfly dies, which will cut out the media plates, cut out the new stamps. But because they're spare metal, I've given you the three words, and they're in what we call ribbon script. They are beautiful. So it looks like they've been written with ribbon. So you've got dream, wish and fly, and then you've got the basis for them. So you can see here on the sample Adam's got... You can see it's almost like someone's taken a piece of ribbon and just gone round, and, and it, it's sort of floating in the air. That's what I wanted. Um, so you've got that in there, but then we've done the four new stamps to go with the media plates, or go on their own, because you don't have to have those. You don't want some people don't want to be inky. Some people just want to stamp like this one, 
heat emboss and colour in, but I just think it looks, they look so beautiful. They do look at But these. having that flexibility of having, so you've got the stamp, you've got two different stamp designs for each one, so you've got those stamps. You've then got the media plates if you want to, to colour them and work for the background. But you've also got the stencils, which fit them exactly. Jesus. So with the combination of the three, you can get hundreds of different looks, rather than just, oh, I'll stamp a butterfly, colour it in, I'm done. You've got to get yeah. more out of it. That's what we wanted with this. And that's what you've got with this. Look at what you're getting, then have a little look at the price. £29.97. You're getting two butterfly stamps. You're getting two of the dragonfly stamps and you're also getting all the metal as well to cut everything out that you will need. 414842 is your item number. Four stamps and eight dies in total is what you are getting. But what you can create is something that I've not seen before. Absolutely beautiful. And if you use your different mediums, you are going to get different looks time and time again with your watercolors you get a different look with your sentiments on there as well you get another look how beautiful does that use as a background and then also the main feature as well absolutely stunning and this is just the dragonfly we're looking at remember you're getting two stamps for the dragonfly two sort of different designs that you can create but putting them both together you even get more designs absolutely beautiful and because they're stamps imagine doing these in shrink plastic so you can now use them in another medium that you never thought of before that's what john said what a clever idea <laughs> well, because the dies are quite simple they should cut through the shrink plastic yeah. so you could stamp it color it cut it out and then shrink, and them. shrink them beautiful badges molly would love that she would because they're so and they're little as well and yeah. you can color them in with the inks we've got on the shows ah. as well absolutely stunning really do that and that's what i like about john as well you really do think outside the box one stamp is not just a stamp it shouldn't you, just be a stamp it shouldn't because then it's just one thing one trick ponies have no place in a crafter's arsenal. We want things that are going to do lots of different stuff. And it is true. 414842 is your item number, £29.97. and pounds. Uh, We're extremely busy already for your one-day special. We knew we would be. As I said, over a quarter of the stock now has already gone. Moving on to your media plates. Now, I'm going to hold my hands up with this. And when I saw Sam in the studio earlier, I was like, what, what, what do we, what would we do with these? He went, you'll learn at eight, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> that were his exact words. Um, yes, that sounds like Sam. So I'm new to media plate. What is a media plate? Right, you've, you've got a media plate, so I, I want to try and be clear on this because um, I don't want to confuse anybody. A media plate is effectively a blank printing surface. Okay. So you can compare them to sort of some of the gel plates. Now, I prefer a media plate, it's my personal choice, mainly because I don't like, first of all, I don't like the feel of a gel plate because it's a bit wobbly for me and it, I just don't like it. Um, what you've got with a media plate is a, it's a polymer. Yeah. So instead of being a stamp, I mean, I wouldn't suggest you do this with a stamp. You wouldn't sit there and screw it up in your hand and mess it up. No. But what you've effectively got is a blank printing plate that will take any medium which is why we call it a media plate, because it's like mixed media. Okay. And it will take any media and it will print in a stamp press or on a stamping block whatever you put on it. Uh, so if you want to create, this is one of the circle ones, but with the butterflies, say, um, if I pull one in here, this is the one I showed earlier, actually, but I love this one of Roshan's. So, okay, we've got the stamp there, but if you look behind, all of that is done on the media plate. Oh, so it's a, technically so it's, a it's like, like a, a printing stamp. press. It's a blank stamp in a way, but I'm cautious of saying that because I don't want people to think it's a stamp because it isn't. No. Because you you need to be you do treat them quite roughly. So when we demo, I'll show you a little bit more. I mean, there's all the instructions on them, but these are four shapes. So you've got the butterfly and the dragonfly, which you'll notice from the one day special. So they match exactly with it. Oh, We've not included these in the one day special because these came out last year. Okay. Yeah. So these came out last year and I didn't want people to have to rebuy something they bought. Got, so yeah, if you haven't got enough. them, this is your add on for it. But what we've added in there are the two others I did at the same time, which is the leaf and the flower pattern. Oh, nice. So there effectively you've got printing presses or plates in those designs. 
It makes perfect sense now. So you've got your butterflies and your dragonfly. You've got your leaf and your flower at the bottom. But if you look, take a look at that leaf, I can see a bonfire in there. Ooh. I can see a bonfire. You put logs at the bottom of that. So uh, where are we? You put logs down here. You've got the fire on it. If it's a media plate, you can put all your mediums onto it to create the look yeah. you're after. You can put your inks on your different, uh, any different types of inks. You can put your paints on. You put anything, sort of any of your colours on, any of your different styles of inks. You put your alcohol inks. You put anything on them and print from it. And then you can take them off with other stamps that you've got in your collection, but you've still got the colours there. It will all make sense. It's it now will. the penny has now dropped in my own head. I'm, I'm, I wear my heart on my sleeve. I said I'm learning as a crafter. But the penny has dropped with these as well. 7330078 is your item number. £14.98. Moving on down, though, to the stencils next. I see a theme emerging. There is a theme. I, I like people to have more variety. So what you've got, I wanted to do, first of all, a stencil for the butterfly and a stencil for the dragonfly so that you could draw through them, so that you could colour through them, so you could stamp your stamp, put that on and shade through and colour. But to me, a, a, stamp, a, 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 a stencil that's that big, so a stencil that's sort of standard six by six, is virtually the same price as one that's A5. So I designed them to be A5 and I had different patterns on. So things like this can be achieved with just the little palettes, patterns oh, that are in there. So you don't need a full stencil. I want you, you've, in that, you've got three little dragonflies, a full dragonfly, three different styles of the sort of wavy pattern, and then a little dragonfly sort of spray with dots around it so that you can do... I mean, that's all that background's built up using just that stencil. Look at that. But you can do all that without having to have 15 different stencils and them dirty and which one am I going no, to use? Everything's on one. If you've got both, everything's on both you need. And you are loving these. 60% of the stock has already gone. £9.99. This is not a pick and mix. This is not pick your favourites. You're getting both. Butterfly and Dragonfly, A5. I just had to read myself in because I was unsure myself. <laughs> At nine pounds and ninety-nine pence, six nine four nine two two is your item number. Very busy across the board. Remember, you think everything mix and matches in this show. You've got the butterfly and the dragonfly theme in there as well. Uh, moving on, Dan. So we've now got the bigger medium plate yes. as well. So this is your large media plate. This is effectively slightly bigger than A5. Okay. So you've got, it is, it's as big as the packet, basically. I think this is an A5 yeah. piece. So it's just short on six inches by just short on eight inches. And, but what you can do is, this is your printing press, and it fits into all of the stamp platforms that you have. It fits on, if you've got a large acrylic block, but mainly in the stamp platforms, you can put it down. But what you can do is, that background is made with the plate. Now, Get to away. me, that looks like a piece of paper I've bought. Oh, it does. Or, the, the, the comment that Janice made to me um, after the last show, was the piece that we is made in about two or three minutes. <laughs> well, one of them is. Oh, Not all of them, to be perfectly <laughs> honest. I don't know where I've put it now. I've left it somewhere. We, oh, there we go. We'll go and grab that. But the details on screen, 027136 is your item number. Now, that we made in about two minutes. And if you cut that down, you would never know no. that was... And as she said, to, when it came off her, she went, I've seen people with doing mixed media and spending like half an hour to get that. Yeah. With loads of different products. No, that was actually four ink pads, the stencils and a stamp. That's how quick you can achieve this. Make your own backgrounds. That, that's it just cut up. But it's the perfect colours because it matches what I've coloured the butterfly with. And this is where it comes from. John is a crafter. He knows what crafters like. He knows, he knows, he knows you. He know, he's basically, you are well, a I know me, you know you and, and I you hope know. that other people will like and want what I want, because all I produce is stuff that I want and I want to use with and I get excited about. Oh, which is true, which is amazing, and you're loving these as well. £10.99, 027136 is your item number. Now, this next thing... Yeah. Oh... <laughs> My word, this is a game changer. Once again, I came in earlier to have a little look at the show, and uh, Sam was in here, and I said, well, how does this work? And he said, that words again, work. <laughs> you'll find out at 8 o'clock, <laughs> don't worry. But then I watched the launch. 
Yeah. This is, I can't believe I've not seen it before. This is, it, we, we have done them before. We, we launched it possibly, could be even over a year ago, and it just absolutely flew out. And it takes about six months to get these things back, to be honest. So what you've got is, in the base, you've got this pad. And this is, it's foam. It's like a sponge foam. Yeah, it's not it a piece is. of cardboard. Then it has on top these thousands of microfiber bristles, which effectively just clean your stamps and your brayer. So instead of actually having to use, because I, I say this all the time, please don't waste baby wipes and cleaning cloths. Yeah. Don't throw things away. Don't ruin your stamps with it. If you really are insistent on cleaning your stamps, and any time I tend to clean them on media plates between colours, or stamps between colours, use this because all we do is get water on it, rub your stamp over, it's clean, go on the dry side, you've got a clean dry stamp with no chemicals, nothing going in the bin. You're not using any stamp cleaners, you're not using any chemicals, you're using nothing, you're just using thousands of little brushes. It's, it's clever. I've had to put it down because it is so soft. <laughs> um, but you're not only are you getting the pad, you're also getting the brayer as well. Which, it, once again, is a crafting essential. Once you've got one, you'll use it all the time. Once you've got one, you use it all the time. You use it with your media plates. You really need a hard blade brayer with your media plates. I know so with some of, sort of the gel-style plates, you use a soft one. But with this, you need a hard one. But you can do so much more with your brayer. Um, again, through tomorrow, I'll try and show you some different techniques using it. Uh, bits you can do, but it's just one of those handy bits, and I actually like the fact, it's going to sound really bad, I like the fact it's got a wooden handle. Yeah. It's nice, it's comfortable, it's not plasticky, it's... I don't break it, it's it solid. It feels quality as well. That's <laughs> so I can break it's got, anything. It hasn't got, it's got a little weight to it, but it feels quality, it's yeah. sturdy. You know you can put pressure on it, and you know that's not going to go anywhere. Uh, very busy for this now. We are now at two-thirds of the stock. Two thirds of the stock has already gone. Sixteen pounds and ninety-nine pence. One, two, four, nine, eight, four is your item. It's only six numbers, Adam. It is your item number? It's New Year's Eve. Come on, everyone's at home um, having a curry and left you here with your tuna pasta. It's not fair. Earning the pennies. Oh, I say earning the pennies. Only came out for a loaf of bread three months ago. <laughs> Silly. They've not let you home yet. <laughs> yet. Uh, inks. Absolutely amazing. Uh, Ten pads in total is what you are getting. Uh, these are amazing. For £15.98, you get your purple, your navy blue, your sky blue, your aqua, your turquoise, your red, your hot pink, your dark purple in there, brown in there, and orange in there as well. That's very forceful, Ross, in my ear. <laughs> £15.98. I think that week in Margate's done him good <laughs> well, somehow, yeah. He's got very, very <laughs> forceful. Yeah. Um, so... Why, 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 why these ones? Well, what you've got, the, the, the sort of three reasons I put this set together. First is, these are pigment inks. Oh, okay. Now, the difference is, your classic, just say distress ink or water-based ink, is ink, or is colour and water. Your dye-based ink is colour, water and some glue, if we ah. really simplify it. Your pigment inks are colour and glycerin. Okay. So that's what gives almost, can you see the shine? That. The intense colour. That's coming from a pure pigment, which is a stronger colour than dye. It's not it's quite as simple. Um, it's a purer colour. But because it's mixed with glycerin, it's slower drying. It's perfect for techniques. Oh. You can put embossing powder onto it. So you could stamp with that and put clear embossing powder on, and you'd have orange embossed or red embossed. Oh, um, and it's perfect for the media plates. You get a beautiful chalky finish, and it's easy. If you've never used inks before, this is the one to go for. This is the one to start with. If you're really worried about shading and you want to get blending and things, this is one of the easier ones because people have seen, um, I think Sheena Douglas did it, she used to mix distress ink with glycerin to extend the drying time. Well, this is already mixed for you. It's the same thing. Oh, it's the idea. And I put the colours together because they are colours that I wouldn't normally traditionally buy, but they can work so well together. Um, I wouldn't have oranges and browns normally, but they work so well, I'll try and use those in the next demo. But the other thing, the reason I like the eyes ink ones, so I could go on about this for hours, but I'll sneak this one in and annoy Jimmy again. Let's get it the right way around. Okay. If you look on there, can you see there's a dark colour on top? Oh, yeah. yeah? So I've contaminated it. But this delivery system is actually, it's like a foam rubber. It's like a sort of blown foam. It's not felt, which means that that colour sits on the surface only. Oh, so it doesn't go through. Can't sink in, 
because it's not a natural material. The ink's actually put in under vacuum, so that can't contaminate it. Yes, it's contaminated the top, but as soon as I go on that with black, yeah. I've not darkened the whole pad, just that little bit at the top. So these are the inks for you. These are the inks. If you're starting out, the inks to go for, these are the inks that give you that little extra wiggle room when you're thinking of what to do and where to stand. If you're new to the media plates, these are perfect because it gives yeah. you that thinking time. It does. You can use the media plates with things like your acrylic paints. You can use it with your dye-based inks. You can use it with distress oxides, with your distress inks, with virtually anything you've got. But the easiest thing to start with is the pigment ink because it's sticky so it sticks and it creates that barrier to start with so this is the easy way to start and I always go with, I like easy I sorry but I do and we all go <laughs> we all try and find our own cut the corners but what John does is John cuts the corners for you and then gives it to you at an amazing price 15 pounds and 98 pence my personally if I'm new to crafting like I am I wouldn't mind spending 20 pounds and 98 on these I think they're that good. They are, from what I've heard and what I've seen, they are amazing. But you are getting them for fifteen pounds and ninety-eight pence. Two four one eight 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 is your item number. That's enough of the chit chat. Let's get down to demos. Um, jump to the website. It's the easiest and the quickest place to go. Your one-day special now is storming out the door. Remember, within sixteen minutes, we sold out of the mega bundle. We're now down just to the one-day special. It is very, very busy across the board. We are now, um, well, we can't make any more phone calls for the sheer fact once it's gone, it's gone. It won't be coming back. So we are worried about what's going to come in later on tomorrow afternoon because um, we don't think the stock is going to last. Um, and we've got, apparently we've got an amazing deal of the day tomorrow. Well, well I'm never. never there. Oh, <laughs> the crafty deal of the day tomorrow yes. morning. I, I've been hunting the warehouse again and found some things from the blast from the past that are really useful. What a way to start the so new year. It is. So what I thought I'd do is I'm going to do um, more of a sort of card and finish project this time. Okay. But I want to show you how easy it actually is if we're using the right products. So I'm going to use the butterfly media plate. Now, this is, if you can see, still blue. Yeah. Because I used blue on it last time. So the only way I clean it is like this. And please do not clean your media plates. Unlike sort of, you like your gel plates like to be clean, these like to be mucky. Okay. As we would say. So these don't like to be clean. And if you clean them with, run them underwater, you're going to take all the surface off and you're going to take them back. And I'm going to show you. Where did I? Oh, I don't know where I put it. I put a new one. So oh, there's one from earlier. That's what they come like clear, crystal clear, and lovely new. And you can see that isn't. And so this is a like. good 18 months old. This was my original one that I've been using. Oh, okay. But you just want to screw them up when you get them. You want to make them. You feel the difference. Feel that. Oh, yeah. As opposed to that brand new one. Oh, that, go that does nothing where that's got the wiggle. Yeah. It's got the... So it's been sort of loosened up in a way. So all, if you're going to clean it, all you do is clean it on one of these stamp pads. Don't run it underwater. Um, or if you need to wipe it on a, a cloth or something like that, don't use chemicals. We'll bring the cleaning stamp pad onto the screen for you as well. If you are going for the media plates, um, you do want to go for your stamp pad as well. £16.99. Remember, if you go over that £60 mark, you can split your cost into two flexible payments as well. Let's go a bit crazy, shall we? So what I'm going to do is take the ink straight on, and this is all I've done is place it into my stamp press. Now, it will, they'll fit in any stamp press you've got, okay. however... If you have got one of those that doesn't have the foam in the bottom, I'd suggest when using this, put a bit of foam in, because it's a direct contact, and if you're going on too hard a surface, it can not stamp as not well. Perfect, yeah. So put yourself a piece of funky foam in if you don't have one. So should we go crazy with colour? So we're going to go red, and then we'll go turquoise, and then shall we go... Tell you what, let's go brown, why not? Ooh, yeah, completely brand, different. Well, yeah. So mix the colours, then take my brayer, yeah. and really hard, brayer over the top. But wouldn't that take the paint off? No, Not because painted. it's a hard brayer, it just smooths the ink. Okay, so it blends it all for you. So it blends it all for you. And what I'm going to do is, instead of wasting this ink, I'm going to run this at the centre of my card blank I've put in there. And I love that. Look at that. That looks like I've been really arty and spent ages blending and things. Of course I haven't. 
days. I've just done that. I'm amazed how quick you can make these backgrounds now, you, how quick things can come together. You can you so quickly. I'm going to take one from the one day special, one of the dragonflies okay. stamps, and I'm just going to stamp onto that and then off. Oh, so yep. it picks up the... So it picks up the ink... From your media plate. From my media plate. And takes it off. So I've got even more of a fantasy background. Look at that. Yeah. Just going to check this to see where that fits. Perfect. Yeah. I'm going to close it. Yeah. Give it a good press. And there's my butterfly on. And if I think, well, I'd, I'd like that to stand out a little bit more, perhaps. So I'm going to put a little bit more of the purpley colour on that top edge. So I'm going to take one of my daubers. Actually, I've got the large one, haven't I? And I'm just going to soften that so I can intensify that colour. Oh, my God. Make it look shaded. And I'll tell you what, we'll go with a little bit of more. I'll go with some more blue. Let's have some blue at the bottom, shall we? Because it's in the stamp press, I'm not having to take my paper to it. Oh, no. So I'm in the same place every time. So we go through. There we go. So it stands off. Right, so I'm going to take one of the stamps that matches. Yeah? Okay. So this is one of the new stamps from the One Day Special. You can see it just fits over. Oh, I love yeah? the way it all works together. So I'm going to close that. And we're going to take a little bit of Versafine in black just to make it stand out. Simply ink that. And stamp over the top. Oh my. Yeah. So it does but make it, sense to go for your one-day special and your media plates as well. Yeah, if you haven't got them, because some people had them, which is why I wanted to separate them. So what I'm going to do is actually... I want to make that middle a bit darker. So I can just take my media plate and pop him back on. Oh, and then go straight onto the media plate. that's the benefit. Plate. So I'm going to make the middle a bit darker. Let's put a bit of brown in there. There we go. So now he's a bit darker in the centre. Look so I've got him. And because, remember I said it was a, a long-lasting ink? Yeah. I can just shade it out slightly. Now I'm going to take the die, and I'm going to put the die over, yeah, that yeah. matches. I'm going to tape it down, I'm going to take my die cutting machine. So I've done this onto a card blank. And keep your fingers a little bit cleaner, perhaps, than I have. Do you want me to help? No, it's all right. There we go. I'm going to open my card blank, yeah, onto my plate. Okay. And I'm going to put my plate there, along oh. that line. Yeah. Oh, I've not seen this before. Because just because it's a solid shape, doesn't mean that I have to cut that full solid shape. Oh, so you're just going to cut one of the yeah. wings? so I'm going to move it, so I'm going to cut one of the wings. So I'm just going to feed that in. You see, who would have thought, normally when you see a die, you use the whole die, you run the whole thing through your machine, we're still running the whole thing through the machine, because the top plate's not there now, yep. you're only cutting half of where that top plate is now reaching. Uh, very busy for your one day special. Uh, did Santa treat you to a new, a, a new cutting machine? <laughs> uh, Santa has treated me to a new, I did treat myself to a new cutting machine, I'm constantly testing them. So, there we go. Yeah. <gasps> so I'll fold that back. Oh my, look at that. But I've still got interest inside. And what I'll do in the next demo, I'll do something to go in the middle. But that's just, but that took no time. No. And it's already done and it's a little bit different and it's a little bit more creative. It really, I'm literally shell shocked. That is an amazing, because when you see cards like this, you think, oh, this is going to be a, a long old hour because you've got to watch your brayer, then you've got to stamp here, stamp there. With this, bish bash bosh, away you go, and you are getting an amazing finish. Yeah. Really instantly. Simple. Yeah. It is. Well, you can see it. You can see how quick these cards can come together. You can see how quick everything works together that John's bought us for the one day special. If your budget will stretch, 
and I'm sure, I'm sure, look at the prices. Uh, your one day special is amazing. 29 pounds and 97 pence. 414842 is your item number. Uh, you might also want to go for the brayer and also the cleaner as well. And if you've not already got them, I would also stick in the butterfly and the dragonfly media plates as well. I think you will use them time and time again. The possibilities are endless. And once again, it takes your crafting to the next level. And once you get to that next level, obviously you can start charging slightly more for your cards and then eventually the dies will pay for themselves. Simple. You go over that £60 mark though, you're, in, you're straight in for Flexi Buy. What's Flexi Buy or Flexi Order? Ah, have a look at this. Flexi Order has arrived at Hachanda. What is Flexi Order? When you place an item on FlexiBuy in your basket, you qualify for Flexi Order, which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your FlexiBuy payments, so you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping baskets, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for a Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly Flexi Buy payments, offering you the extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with Achanda easier. There is Flexi Order. Right, we've quickly come back to your one day special. Let me do the boring bits first. 414842 is your item number. £29.97. And pence. And what are you getting for that £29.97? And pence? An awful lot is what you are getting. You are getting four stamps and eight dies, but not old, any old dies. Everything corresponds and works together. Your stamps work together. Your dies work together. You're also getting the words, the sentiments that are on there as well. Uh, let me just show you some of the finished samples that, we, that you can create. So this is with the butterfly, one of the butterflies and the stencils that we've also got on the show as well. How beautiful is that? How stunning is that card? And you can be creating cards just like these with your dragonfly. Once again, an elegant card. And all the hard work has been taken out for you. You've also got those sentiments in there as well that you can use time and time again. Maybe you want to go into your MDF. Maybe you bought the MDF from Good Evening Achanda. This is now what you can create. Absolutely stunning pieces of work. If you just want to stamp and colour, how beautiful, how elegant. Maybe for your journaling, your scrapbooking, or even your card making. John took all the hard work out for you. So all you have to do is get it home and enjoy. What well, you also, if you've not already got them, if you've got your one day special, you might want your media plates to match as well. Now your media plates, you're getting four media plates, you're getting the dragonfly, the buttonfly, the flower and also the leaf as well. All of these are £14.98. But with your media plates, it opens a whole new door to the world of crafting. And I said at the top of the hour, I've never used a media plate before. I've, I didn't really understand. I've seen people use them, but I didn't really understand. I didn't really, it didn't really click what they were for. But now, you can create stunning backgrounds for your butterflies. Create stunning backgrounds for your dragonflies. Use them as backgrounds of your cards. Use them to the create that focal point when you stamp onto them with your one day special. You get the flowers and the leaf in there as well which work perfectly hand in hand with your butterfly and your dragonfly to create those stunning backgrounds. And all of this for £14.98 is an amazing price. 733078 is your item number. Now, well, something that's also very busy on the hour is your brayer and also your cleaner as well. This is revolutionary. I've never seen one before and it is, it, it just makes it easy once again to clean all your stamps and uh, all the stamps that you've got in your collection and also your media plates as well. But remember, your media plates need to be kept dirty because they do work better. Uh, we've also got the inks as well on the show. 
leaves you details. You're getting 10 inks in total is what you're getting. And all all good colours, all the colours that you know and you're going to use time and time again. 241888, you've got your purple, your navy blue, your sky blue, your aqua, your turquoise, your red, your hot pink, your dark purple and your brown and your orange as well in there. All these are £15 and 98 pence. If you are brand new to crafting, these are the perfect things to go for because they give you that bit of wiggle room to use on your media plates. Now, your stencils have been extremely busy. Your stencils work once again with your one day special. They work with your media plates and they also work on their own as well because remember they are stencils. You've got continuous stencils in here as well if you want to continue the patterns on. Beautiful bur um, borders that you've got on there. The beautiful chevrons you've got on there as well. The diamonds, it all works together. But two thirds of the stock has already gone. Nine pounds and 99 pence. 694.922 is your item number. Right then, John, what are we up to? Right, so I thought we're just going to use the stencil because I've been using these and I've got ink on them. Oh. And so, and I hate cleaning things. <laughs> Well, you know, I can't get that really into my stamp cleaner <coughs> to actually clean that. So I really, to me, I really hate cleaning them. So all I'm going to do is take the ink that's actually physically on there. And I'm going to grab, actually I'm going to grab a clean um, dauber. And I'm just going to clean over the top and put a little bit on. Like that. This is what I love about pigment ink. I might have used this last hour. But you get that really chalky finish, but it doesn't dry until it's done. So I'm just going to put a little bit of background on, like that there. So we've got that little strip going across. I've got some bubbles here with a different colour around, which will actually match the orangey brown that we've done. So I'm just going to pop that in and do some of those. A little goes an awful long way, doesn't it? It does. That's what's so fun about these inks. They've got that real beautiful sort of chalky finish. And then there's a little bit of a bluey colour on here, so let's use some of that, shall we? And put some of that over. So you don't have to be highly skilled. Look at that. Just so we've got that. Yeah, so it. quick and easy to do. So that was using whatever was left, giving us that little base. There's a big waste there, which I don't like. It's a big white bit. Yeah. So we've got all that depth just from the stencil. Yeah. Yeah. Really simple. And then just because the stamp's large doesn't mean that we can't use it sort of as it stands. So I've got here a little bit of smoky grey. So I'm just going to use one of the wings. I'm going to ink that and I'm just going to put over the top. Move my card around. So we've got that real patination. There we go. I'm going to slide that in. You'd be a little bit cleaner. At home. So you don't see it until you put the whole card together. It's not until you do everything. Look at that. That you see all the depth and everything that you've created just from using all the same similar bits. And it all ties in because you're just using that one butterfly wing down the side, it ties in with the butterfly so it brings the elements in. Yeah, it all works together. It's amazing, John. But that's the simplicity. So I was going to use now the stamp and the stencil. So, should we go with the dragonfly? Because I keep meaning to use the dragonfly okay, and not yeah. doing it. I'm terrible. Put a new piece of stamp card in. in th th if you've never done mixed media, this is a sort of... It's mixed media light. Yeah. It is. That, it's your way. It's a foot into the door Well, to I mixed always media. say to people when they go about, I haven't done mixed media. I'm not a mix... I love the look of a lot of it. I haven't the time or the patience. To be quite same. honest. Um, but I say to people, they go, I've never done mixed media. I say every crafter has done mixed media. Yeah, if you've true. ever stamped something, you've used ink and paper, you've mixed media. media. If, if you, you look at the, the flower, you've mixed media. If you look at the definition for mixed media, it's just different layers on top of each other. That's yeah, all mixed media is, is. It actually means mixing of different mediums. medias. And that is different mediums. So here, I'm going to use the grey again. Which I'm going to use. I'm going to go vicious and use the black. Oh. So, I've changed colours, so I've just gave him a clean on there. So I'm just going to... And this is what I like. These are quite chunky stamps in terms of the lines, but if you see... Look at that for a second generation stamp. Yeah, I'm not having to... Um, because they've been made really well, if that makes sense. Right, yeah. I'm not having to really bash a load of ink on and stamp them two or three times. 
they work Look at so that. well, crisp and clear, first impression. But then, of course, I've got the stencils which were matched exactly to the design. And that's the great benefit of doing things yourself. Yeah. <laughs> because you know. I drew this <laughs> shape, then I knew that I could draw it onto the mask, I could draw it onto the stencil. So I'm going to take a little bit of blue. But this then makes colouring even easier. Well, I always find colouring around a shape is a nightmare. I'm going to take a little bit of darker blue. But I couldn't do this without the stencil. Because I couldn't colour in like that. And let's say, let's put a little bit. There's the aqua gone. No, there it is. Put a bit of the aqua in the centre and go with a little bit of thingy blue just on the ends. But I can. But it looks like. I mean, again, be a little bit more careful. But it looks like I've spent ages. It really does shading and, and shading him. So I can go in really simply. And I love having a stencil that matches a stamp. No, it does, it, it makes, it does make a difference. And it also, because they're nice shapes as well, they're intricate on the inside, but on the outside, they're big shapes. Quite they're basic. easy to cut around as well, if you wanted to cut them out. Well, you don't have to. Oh, you won't go now, you've got the die. Because you've got the die. See? So if I wanted to cut that out. A little tedious link, what we got there. Yeah. I didn't think that's what you were doing. I thought you were actually genuinely saying that they'd be easy to cut out. Um, a friend of mine, Elaine, said, when I showed her a couple of these the other night, she went, um, she said, oh, I hope there's a die to cut that out, because I don't do hand cutting. Elaine <laughs> sounds my sort of girl. Yeah, and I thought, yeah, you're right, Elaine, because it bores me as well, and I had to do it an awful lot when I did the media plates at first. So just cut that out, but we could add to that, we could add more to it, but just simply by using the stamp, the stencil, and the die, You're so not having to have the media plate, we've got the look. Look at these now. As if we have. You can look see that at one. that. As if you've spent ages colouring them in, blending them all. Yeah, and all I do. is just stretch each piece, and there we go. <gash> and he's done. Look at this. They separate in. So really, really simple to do. You could have a whole forest of them. You could. Or some of the boxes that you've bought us as well. These would be stunning on the top as like of your elements. The oh, big old boxes. Actually. I never thought of that. Like your big butterfly on the top. You could really build them up with the wings as well if you wanted to really go to town with your foam tape and bring them out. Remember the shrink plastic? I think I'm, I'm a massive fan of shrink plastic. I can't wait till Molly grows up a little bit more that we can play a little bit more with shrink plastic. Um, but shrink plastic, I'm, I'm an avid believer that anything can be done with shrink plastic, and especially with these designs. You're making like earrings out of the yes. dragonflies. Ooh, they would be lovely. They would be they if you colour them in and. Perfect. Right, so what I said I would show is, with the, I said this in the earlier show, I would show you how we can use the media plate, the large one, okay. to give us a reflection. Oh, okay. okay. The large one's so, very, very busy. This now, is something that people do struggle with. Oh, half the stock, John, of the large A5, as, oh, it's larger than A5, um, has already gone. The sizes are there, 15.2 by 20 centimetres, and the half the stock has already gone here. Right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to ask if, if Magic Matt can put some water on my cloth for me. Well, of course he can. If I throw it that way, do you think it would work? Ma Magic Matt? Could we have some water on said cloth, please, for the new year? I don't like using wipes, so I'd rather have the magic cloth. <laughs> it's a magic cloth, because at home, when I drop it on the floor, the next day it comes back all clean. That's good. It's like magic. I don't know how it happens. That's like my socks. <laughs> yeah, I, I've got a magic <laughs> box in our dressing room. And when you put clothes in there, the next day they reappear sort of flattened on hangers, okay, yeah. smelling nice, it, you know, on a shelf. It, it's amazing. I don't know where it comes from. No, I, I haven't got a clue, but it's great. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to do, first of all... Damp or wet, John? How do you like it? Sorry. Um, doesn't matter. It's clean my hands, to be honest. So, either way, either way we'll go. So, there we go. Hey, perfect. Absolutely spot on, Uncle Matt. Oh, I will do what I normally do at home, and I do get shouted for. What do you do? 
just going to wipe oh, my dry my hands on my trousers. Them fairies won't be happy. No, that's why I wear chinos. They so. won't be happy. Right, so, what we're going to do, we're going to do the reflection first. Yeah? Okay. So I'm actually going to go with the tree. Indeed. So, what I'm going to do is pop the tree onto my block. Okay? Yeah. So I'm going to put the tree on my block and I'm going to ink it as normal. Okay. Okay, so just ink it as I would do normally. And then, so this is Peter's tree from the two J's. Yeah, I love, I used, I love these stamps when you bought them earlier. These are beautiful. We, we sold them out and we've managed to get some more back in. We've had to actually reorder them. They are back on the show as well. Check on the website. They are currently down at the end of the counter, but they are, um, we'll put them on the owl for you on the screen. The details are on the screen. So what I've done is stamped it upside down onto the media plate. Yeah? Okay. This is the benefit of the media plate because it's hard you will keep that clarity, yeah? Okay, the perfect stamp. So, all I'm going to do then is just close it and press lightly. Yeah? Okay, so there's my tree. And it's upside down and we could do that with the block. Except I couldn't, could I? No, you couldn't Because it's not upside down. It's actually back to front. It's a mirror image. So what I'm then going to do is this is a time when I do clean my stamp. I've just seen on the screen as well. Are we really getting all of these stamps? For 19.98. That is, because I remember when I bought them, they were on a pick and mix. Uh, you're getting all eight stamps for 39 pounds and 96 pence. You can create scenes with these. You can go to town with these. Some of the finished samples are stunning. I will show you them later because I really want to see the end of this demo. Right. So what I'm going to do is I clean my stamp, but I'm still not 100% that I'm not going to mark that. So I'm going to grab one of my acetate template sheets. Oh, I was talking about these the other day, I'm sorry. Oh, do you know, they're an absolute godsend if you're messy like me. So what I can then do is put my stamp on, and can you see I'm actually trying to make sure roots that I match it up, the roots to the size, yeah? Yeah. So then, close the door, pick up the stamp, take the template off. I'm going to ink this up. <gasps> there we go. Yeah. I'm going to ink it and stamp it once. Twice. Three times. Oh my word! And as I'm sure it was in one of your one of your entertainer medleys, three times a lady. <laughs> it was. <laughs> yeah, I thought it might Always be. Always in my second set. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the one where they've had a few drinks and the yeah, notes, they the notes have gone a bit dodgy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you know, you've doing seen Doctor Who. Yeah. Seen my set <laughs> but the three <gasps> times it makes that so much darker. So you've got your reflection. So all I would do is decide where the water's going, where the line's going. And then I'm going to take the light blue. I'm going to grab one of the larger daubers. We have got these on the show. So I find these so much easier. Yeah, so you get a set of like the mini ones and a set of the we'll bigger bring ones. The details up on the screen for your daubers. Uh, you're getting three of the large and two sets, two, oh, double sets, three large, two sets of three small. That's not, that's not easy. We could have made that a little bit easier. Uh, three large and six small daubers is what could have been easier, couldn't it? For nine ninety nine. <laughs> that is the card, that is very confusing for me to read. So I've put a piece of card along that line that I made. Yeah. And I'm pulling down from that card. This is what I love, as I said, about pigment inks. I'm going to go with a bit of aqua. So I get a little bit of a more shade. And then finally, a little bit of dark navy. This is where the media plates really come into play. Look at what you can create. Maybe you've got these stamps already. Maybe you've got some stamps at home that you want to do. Maybe you've got the water's edge at home. Maybe you've got a beach theme at home. 
these are now amazing where your media plates really come in to take your level of media to take your level of craft to the next level yeah. look at that so again we would we can trim that down yeah. we can put the sky in we can you know we can sit there going you know let's put a little bit of sunset in and some oranges in or some browns in or whatever else in you want to do never the best thing I'm good at this but we blend them together no, it looks great it does look amazing uh, so we'll take the details of the daubers off the screen see I haven't got any green with me but there we go but you could just but you can set it it's yeah. really simple to do I perhaps haven't got all the full colours but again I don't have to worry about mixing them but it gives you that idea of how we get the reflection. Look at that. So I would trim that down very quickly and add a little bit more black pen mark and play Wait, am I right in saying though, if you've got the media plates as well, and I think you could only do this really with the media plates to get the reflection that you wanted, you could have that as a sort of an angle. So if the sun was in the corner, you could have the tree sort of this way if you wanted to. You can have the tree in any direction you want, you want to. And reversed. And the great thing is, if you've got a stamp that only goes in one way, so if I pop this one back you on, you can now change the direction of any stamp. You can change the direction. Amazing. Now I understand so I that. can actually amazing. put this in and go right. Okay, so we'll have one going one way and one going the other. So we'll have that one there. So of course then I've got that tree, I'm going to press it well this time, so I've got the tree there. So in theory you, you can now create a forest with the same stamp but it would be different ways if it you wanted to. It would get different directions. So it looks like you've got a different stamp where in theory you really haven't. No, nope, it's the same one but you can actually then get it going. Helps if you ink it properly, <laughs> but you can have it going in either direction. Look at this. So you really can go to town and flip the stamps that you've already got. And these inks work amazingly as well. The details for the inks are currently are on your That's screen. Dreaming. But all the hard work is done for you. It's the media plate that does the work. And all you need to do, and it flips everything for you, you just stamp, so you can really create, um, well, it reminds me of that famous bear who likes honey. Oh, it does, it's doesn't like it? It has that thousand acre wood. Yeah, um, feel to it. Absolutely look. beautiful. Uh, we're very busy across the board. We knew we would be. We know it's New Year's Eve. Thank you for joining us. Um, Johnny's back for three shows tomorrow as well, but... The question that we're all asking is, will the one day special still be here? Uh, the easy thing to do, is jump onto the website, jump onto the website, everything is there for you. Um, all your media blocks are on there, all your stamps are on there as well. Absolutely stunning is what you, is what you basically is what you're creating. Uh, really do check out that website because it's got everything on there that you know and love and you can come back time and time again. We are now going to come down to the end of the counter where you can see uh, the stamps live. I want to show you all eight that you're getting. I said I've bought you these stamps in the past and they were very, very busy and I know a few of them did sell out. They did. And we couldn't get them back when we wanted to get them back. But now you've bought the whole collection back in one bundle. Yeah. I, I think this is, they are, they're beautiful stamps. What 2Js do is they select from different artists all around the world and they license those designs from the different artists and then they convert them and work them into stamps. So they're not necessarily the original artist's drawing, but they're changed, but they are fully licensed so that you can use them with full impunity. Um, it even states it on the packaging that the, the angel policy is stated on there. Um, but it allows us to have this beautiful artist-drawn work from lots of different artists. Um, and, you know, at really good quality. And because we have them made in the UK, They've got such an amazing level of depth that you get in them. Really have. They are stunning. But then what you can start creating is beautiful scenes. But once again, the hard work has all been done for you. Just look at that with the gloss and the sheen. 
That in a frame would be lovely. It would be beautiful, lovely. yeah. I think Leslie's never getting that card back. <laughs> I am keeping that one, Leslie. But again, can you imagine this one reflected? Yeah, it's just in the and water. And what Maxine's done is she's just used, again, the pigment ink in the same way as I did. Some yellow at the top, some blue all the way down, and then cut it out. But you imagine that reflected in the water, and then you wouldn't need all of it. You only need, like, the banks and a few of the trees, because you could... Uh, yeah. It would be stunning, but then, if you stamp them on different cards, they do create different scenes that you've got. And then, you can really go to town. Look at that. That is a card that screams, that would be up for a while. Yeah. That's not going to be up just for your birthday. No. And it'll also be kept and it'll come year in and year out as well. But then, on vellum, am I, is that on vellum? Yes, it is on vellum. Uh, no, it's, no, it's, just, vellum? it's just on um, stamping card and I've coloured it with just grey pens. Oh. Well, there, well, I never looked at vellum. Beautiful. With a beautiful wood background as well. And there are so many here that you can choose time and time again. But talking about those stamps and about the trees, look at that. 406750 is your item number. £39.96 is your item number. We're going to quickly whiz down the counter because I know we haven't got long left. Uh, media plates is what we've got next in different shapes. Um, are we going to each one? Are, where are you? Are we staying oh, here? Oh, I'm fine. So, media, I was following I'll John. I just wonder. Uh, we are going to media plates. 470987 is your item number. Basically, your, your, your basic shapes. These are your basic shapes that we started with. Uh, we'll be showing you more about these with these at 9am in the morning. Okay. Because um, I've just remembered having a look, look through those samples as one of um, uh, Maxine's samples that's been done. It looks like with a media plate, but it isn't. But I'm going to show you how the easy way to do it with a media plate. So there's your media plates. Tune in tomorrow morning and see how you use your media plates. We've also got your inks next up as well. You're getting 10 inks in total. Remember, the inks give you that little bit of wiggle room as well. They are amazing inks, and you're getting 10 colours in total for £15.98, 241888. Um, short synopsis. Why should we have the inks? Um, because I think they're colours that you probably won't have and they're really easy to use. They work perfectly with the media plates, perfect with the butterflies and dragonflies. Beautiful. Moving on, Dan, there's something else that you've seen time and time again. It sold out the first time it was here. It's back. And you're also getting the Braille with it as well. 124984 is your item number, £16 and 99 pence. This is your cleaning mat and small Braille. Once again, John. <laughs> uh, because it's the only way I ever clean my stamps. Well, there you go. If, you're going to, if you insist on cleaning your stamps, um, if I haven't been able to convince you to keep them dirty because you'll get a better <laughs> impression, please use something like this. Don't use baby wipes, don't use chemical cleaners, is... don't just whack it under the sink. That's so much easier. It is so much easier. £16.99. pence. We're jumping to the centre. You've got the large media plate that you saw John using in the last demonstration. We'll put the details on the bottom of the screen just here. Stencils. Very, very busy. We are now at... Seventy percent. Seventy percent of your stencils have now got nine pounds and ninety-nine pence. Happy New Year. Six nine four nine two two is your item number for your stencils. And your stencils work with everything. They work with everything and they are also we have them made in the UK and they're three hundred and twenty microns. So if you do like to emboss with your machine oh, with is. them, they will because they're really, if you actually, it's really difficult, but if you feel them for one of mine, they're actually really thick. They're not thin stencils, they're actually made at the highest micron that our manufacturer does. They really indeed. Um, if you want, you want your stencils, get them while you can. Uh, one day special, very, very busy. We're going to bring the details up. I'm completely running around through your details of your one day special. I've only got 15 seconds. A third of the stock of your one day special has already gone. 414842 is your item number, £29.97. Uh, Happy New Year to you. Have a good Happy New, New Year. Year, John. Have a good day tomorrow. And, you. and don't you go anywhere. <laughs> Yes, th this is the next three hours. Don't go anywhere. Stay with the Chanda. Remember, though, wherever you are, on whoever you are, someone out there will always love you.
Welcome to Club G45 from Graphic45, the monthly tutorial kit that allows you to create some of the most beautiful projects by accessing a step-by-step -step video viewable online. This month's tutorial is the Club G45 Life's a Journey Wrap Folio and Tag Trio Kit, containing the Life's a Journey Wrap Folio and the Life's a Journey Tag Trio Kit projects. You'll get almost everything you need to create these projects from scratch, including access to this month's step-by-step -step video tutorial and